I'm Pat Farmer and I'm, uh, I'm doing what they call pole to pole run. So it's from one end of the earth through to the other, from the North Pole all the way through to the South Pole. Well this whole journey started for me on the, on the 6th of April and from there I was uh, uh, I left the North Pole, was dropped off by Russian helicopter into the North Pole itself and from there headed out pulling a sled behind me. The sled had everything in it that I needed to survive uh, through that region. It had my dehydrated food, it had my tents, it had my clothing, it had all the rest of the gear and so consequently um, I dragged that behind me and was able to keep on moving all the way through to Canada. The people as soon as I crossed over the border from Canada on into the US of A, uh, everybody has been phenomenal. I think they really appreciate the work that the International Red Cross do and you consider the media that we have available to us these days, we can get to 100 million people and if 100 million people simply donate just one dollar then we can raise that much needed 100 million dollars. So that's my goal. Uh, the other goal is to influence and to inspire people to do something with their own lives. So if they look at me and they consider the length of this earth and if one person can simply put one foot in front of the other uh, and achieve a goal as enormous as this, then surely they can do something with their own lives substantial that they are happy with as well. If people simply jump onto the internet and they follow me on pole to run.com they can follow every single step that I take, join me on Facebook, on Twitter, they can see the updates on the website, they can see all the photographs and all the information and uh, uh, about the journey, the people that we meet and that we've met already, so all the way through they can track my progress. A number of people uh, uh, through the media have described me as some sort of superman or the fittest man on earth, there's been a tag that's been thrown around a lot. I just need to make it clear to everybody I'm just the same as anybody else. I feel all the aches and the pains, I have blisters and bruises the same as anybody else would have on a journey such as this. So this is just about one ordinary man that is compelled to make a difference to other people's lives and I'd like other people to see it in that light.